Russian occupation forces are on the offensive on the Bakhmut and Marinka fronts. Source. General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine on Facebook, information is of 1800 on the 3rd of July. Details. Over the course of the day, Ukrainian aircraft carried out 14 airstrikes on areas where Russian military personnel were concentrated. Units of Ukraine's rocket forces and artillery struck two clusters of Russian military personnel and equipment in five field artillery units. Russian forces launched a missile and drone strike on Ukraine. To this end, they deployed three S-300 guided anti-aircraft missiles and 20 Iranian-made Shahed drones, attacking civilian infrastructure facilities in Sumy, Donetsk and Zaporizhia oblasts. Ukraine's air force and anti-aircraft personnel and assets from other units of Ukraine's defense forces destroyed 14 Shahed attack drones. Russian forces also conducted 44 airstrikes and deployed multiple launch rocket systems MLRS, in more than 50 further attacks on positions of Ukrainian troops and on civilian settlements. Russia continues to focus its main efforts on the Lyman, Bakhmut, Avdivka and Marinka fronts, a total of over 30 combat engagements occurred between Russian and Ukrainian forces on these fronts over the course of the day. The operational situation on the Volyn and Polisha fronts remains much the same as before. There is no evidence that Russia is forming new offensive units on these fronts. Units of Belarusian forces are carrying out operations in areas near the Ukrainian border. Units of the Russian armed forces that had completed training in Belarus are now being transferred and will take part in hostilities in Ukraine. Russia continues to maintain its forces on the Severshina and Slobozhanshina fronts. Russian aircraft struck the city of Sumy and areas in the vicinity of Katerinivka in Sumy Oblast. Russian forces also deployed mortars and artillery to fire on more than 10 civilian settlements, including Bakisk, Kodine, Katerinivka, Sumy Oblast, and Veteranarn, Kazaka Lopan and Budarki Kharkiv Oblast. On the Kupiansk front, Russian forces deployed mortars and artillery to fire on Petro Ivanivka, Fyholivka, Novomlinsk, Vorokna and Kupiansk Kharkiv Oblast came under Russian fire. More than 10 civilian settlements came under fire on the Lyman front, including Nevsky and Bilohorivka, Luhansk Oblast, and Verknikamiansk, Beristov and Rozdolivka, Donetsk Oblast. On the Bakhmut front, Russian forces made unsuccessful attempts to advance to the southeast of Orokovo Vasilivka and to the west of Bakhmut. More than 10 civilian settlements came under Russian fire, including Kramatorsk, Koschentinivka, Vashukivka, Bodanivka, Chase of Yar, Klashivka and Vila Horup Donetsk Oblast. On the Avdivka front, Russian forces also shelled over 10 civilian settlements, including Karamek, Avdivka, Severn, Vodian and Nevelsky Donetsk Oblast. Despite Russian airstrikes and shelling on the Marinka front, Ukraine's defense forces repelled all 14 Russian assaults in the vicinity of Marinka. The Russians shelled more than 10 settlements, including Krasnohorivka, Hiorhivka, Maximilianivka and Pobit at Donetsk Oblast. On the Shikhtarsk front, Russian forces conducted an airstrike in the vicinity of Blahodatna at Donetsk Oblast. They also shelled Blahodatna, Vuladar, Bowa Avlenka, Shikhtarsk and Zolotaniva at Donetsk Oblast, among other civilian settlements. Russian forces on the Zaporizhia and Kherson fronts are focusing their efforts on preventing the advance of Ukrainian forces, and shelled over 30 civilian settlements, including Huliaipilsky, Bilahiria and Malatotnichka, Zaporizhia Oblast, Marhanets and Nikopol, Dnepropetrovsk Oblast, and Antonivka and Kherson, Kherson Oblast. Ukraine destroys three Russian ammunition storage points in a day, General Staff report. Over the course of the day, Ukrainian troops struck six areas where Russian military manpower, weapons and equipment were concentrated, three ammunition storage points, 24 artillery systems at firing positions and an electronic warfare station of the occupiers. Source. General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine on Facebook. Details. According to the General Staff, the Air Force carried out 10 strikes on clusters of Russian military personnel and one strike on a Russian anti-aircraft missile system. Over the course of the day, the Russians launched 8 missile and 34 air strikes, fired 40 times from multiple launch rocket systems at positions of Ukrainian troops and settlements. Unfortunately, civilians were killed and wounded, and more than 20 civilian residential buildings and one educational institution have been damaged. 
the likelihood of missile and air strikes across Ukraine remains high. The Russians continue to focus their main efforts on the Lyman, Bakhmut and Marinka fronts, and heavy fighting continues. There were 18 combat clashes over the last day. The situation on the Volyn and Polisha fronts remained unchanged. No signs of formation of offensive groups have been detected. Certain units of the armed forces of Belarus are performing tasks in areas bordering Ukraine. Combat training and coordination of the Russian Armed Forces units before their deployment to the areas of combat operations in Ukraine are ongoing at the country's training grounds. The Russians maintain a military presence on the Severshina and Slobozhanshina fronts. They fired mortars and artillery at more than 10 settlements. On the Kupiansk front, the Russians carried out unsuccessful offensive actions on Novosolivsky, Luhansk Oblast. They conducted an airstrike near Kaislivka, Kharkiv Oblast, Putniko, Fyholivka, Vorikna, Mashutivka, Kupiansk and Kaislivka in Kharkiv Oblast came under artillery and mortar fire from the Russians. On the Lyman front, the Russians conducted airstrikes near Bilohorivka in Luhansk Oblast and Spurn and Rozdalivka in Donetsk Oblast. More than 10 settlements came under artillery fire. On the Bakhmut front, the Russians conducted unsuccessful offensive actions in the areas of Bodanivka and Kromov in Donetsk Oblast. They also conducted an airstrike near New York in Donetsk Oblast. About 15 settlements came under Russian artillery fire. On the Bakhmut front, the Russians conducted unsuccessful offensive actions in the areas of Bodanivka and Kromov in Donetsk Oblast. They also conducted an airstrike near New York in Donetsk Oblast. About 15 settlements came under Russian artillery fire. On the Avdivka front, with the support of aircraft, the Russians conducted unsuccessful offensive actions in the areas of Avdivka and Pervomaysk. They shelled over 15 settlements. On the Marinka front, Ukrainian defenders repelled all Russian attacks in the vicinity of Marinka. At the same time, the Russians launched an airstrike near the town. They fired artillery at about 10 settlements. On the Shikhtarsk front, the Russians conducted airstrikes in the areas of Lahodatna and Zolodaniva in Donetsk Oblast. They shelled about 15 settlements. On the Zaporizhia and Kherson fronts, the Russians are focusing their main efforts on preventing the advance of Ukrainian troops. They conducted an airstrike near Antonivka, Kherson Oblast. They shelled over 40 settlements. According to the general staff, the Russian occupiers continue to loot and use the civilian medical infrastructure facilities of the occupied settlements to provide medical care to their wounded soldiers. In Novopskov, Luhansk Oblast, Russian troops loaded furniture from the maternity hospital onto military vehicles and took it to an unknown destination, and the territory of the maternity hospital is being converted into a field hospital. The General Staff of Ukraine's Armed Forces reported on July 4 that Russia has lost 231,030 troops in Ukraine since the beginning of its full-scale invasion, with an estimated 770 casualties on July 3.